Alright, so I don't know much about anything, and that includes Stephen Hawking. But, the one thing I do know is that his health life closely resembles that of this Xiaomi soap dispenser. Had it not been for a tremendously large amount of work that I have put into this, there is no way this would have still been alive. And so it's died on me for the what, like, must be, well, feels like 40th time, and it must be at least 5th time. And most of the problems that this unit has, again, uh, there's a newer revision of this, looks exactly the same on the outside, but Xiaomi has changed a lot of how stuff is done on the inside, right? And so it should be a lot better. Like, I'm correctly assuming it's better. Haven't tried it, but anyway. Um, so yeah, the problem, the main, main, main issue with this is uh, it leaks on the inside, and I think it leaks in a, like, fine spray type of manner. Uh, point is, it, it, right, so the, the one issue is that it has this plate here, which used to have a rubber gasket. Right? You can see where, where, where it's uh, molded, right, it also goes on the inside. And I've cut this out, and I've also drilled some holes, all in the effort to, all in an effort, wait, what the f all in an effort to mitigate against um, water building up here and corroding the contacts away. So the first time I came aware of this, I became aware of this, uh, it would make absolutely no contact, and these especially were totally fucked. Right. So you can see I've since added some uh, solder in order to create some kind of a spike, but that has not helped. So this just has constant moisture on it, and it just corrodes to hell and back. Uh, this is what killed it now, but it also, right, if you check my previous video, I'll link it up here. Um, the uh, a very big issue I've had is with this uh, sensor assembly. So this would have a protective, um, protective IR transparent plastic on top of it, just in case you hold your hand and it squeezes foam, right, that will protect against it. Uh, making its way into the PCB. Unfortunately, I could not line that up. Like, it would constantly... You'd, whoops. You'd turn it on, and it would fire, and then it would lock up because it would think that there's a constant uh, hand being present there. So I fixed that by removing um, the protective cover. It's pretty bad. I mean, if we, it will die because of that. It will die because of that. But so far, I've, I've, I've done it a couple of times, and some friends have, and I've, I've just wiped it clean. And I mean, that's super low current uh, in very short pulses. Again, check my previous video, and I show on the oscilloscope how this actually checks. It's, I think it's 400 milliseconds or something like that. It checks like... And so that's not going to create a huge amount of corrosion. At some point, I gave up on these contacts, right? So due to the nature of gravity on this planet, all the water would, would go this way. So this would be where most of the corrosion would take place. And these batteries have lasted, I think they're going on for a year. And I just soldered some wires on, onto them, right? Uh, because it was always having a bad connection and the pump power was going down as if the battery was dead, but they weren't. Uh, so I've done this, but now this has also failed. And so I'll have to unsolder this wire. Somehow there's enough corrosion on the bottom side and that also kills it. And now I'm just too tired. Like I'm just too tired of this shit. Um, I've always wanted to, and I've always known the day would come when I would have to externally pack some batteries. Now these are fucking up my planet, so I'm not super in favor of them. Could use uh, rechargeables, but eh, I don't know. Four rechargeables stuck in, in the soap dispenser seems like kind of a waste. And so I have a lot of these, right? So these power banks, uh, the cheap ones, which have random cells in them, 
Um, the good thing with these is they never die. So no matter how low the load is, they will put out 5 volts. Now 5 volts is not 6. And that is true. Right? But it's good enough. Right? It's good enough. The, the pump here is low enough voltage uh, for that not to be an issue. Back when I was playing with this, I pulled out some uh, some wires from the power connector. And we'll use this to quickly test out whether it works or not. Um, what else can I say about this? Oh yeah, and the top cover does not pop up that easily. Uh, some viewers suggested fabricating something to push it via these two holes. Uh, or just simply drilling some at strategic locations and, and trying to pop it back out. Uh, I think someone else suggested something else which was very clever, but you'll have to check the comments there. I, I just do not have the memory capacity to store this stuff, or any stuff for that matter. Alright, so let's see what kind of a draw we get on this. Now keep in mind it's, it's not loaded with water, but I should be fine. So let's turn it on. And it does turn orange to indicate that we're running low on the battery, but eh, fuck it. Okay, so um, might be drawing too big a gulp depending on when the motor stops. Um, these have lower current passing thresholds when the batteries are dead, right, are close to dying. I don't know how full this one is, but anyway. So it kind of works, right? If, uh, if it will piss me off, I'll uh, simply whack a bigger battery. And so now all I'll do is drill a hole here and pull these connections out into a convenient uh, USB lead. I'll probably even make a USB lead. Um, these are actually right two part and you can solder inside. And so that's coming up next. Um, that was the last of its issues and now we're fixing this and it should be fine for, I don't know, Obviously, I've drilled it off center because I'm an idiot, but this will fortunately reside at the back of the unit. Otherwise, I would have had to buy a new one. All right, and just right quick, uh, before actually connecting anything, and whenever you're using pretty much any USB wire, do check its polarity because sometimes they do wire them the wrong way and and in this case it should be fine, although I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, it would be a pretty good idea to have the have the wires red. In this case, red is indeed positive, so we can move forward, which we will. All right, so for my next trick, I'll um, scratch the surface with the pointy bit of this uh, this tool, and uh, we'll mix up some epoxy and um, secure this in place so that it doesn't wiggle this way, right? Because we've secured it this way, but I'd also want it fixed the other way. The wire's kind of long though, so. 
see what I can do about that though first. All right, and one more thing I do want is for the wire to come out at a proper angle, and I'll uh, I'll make sure to get the get that going. So that will be quite problematic, but let's see how we move on. So yeah, did fuck up this zip tie. We'll need another one. Okay, so again, the angle has to be this way. All right, and I think I'll just glue this down, to be honest. So actually, instead of epoxy, I think I'll just use some hot snot because uh, I think it'll even stick better and it is a lot more reworkable, right? If you want to break epoxy, it's a bit tougher. With hot snot, you just uh, warm it up with a hairdryer and then it does soften quite significantly. So we don't need the um, epoxy mixing sheet anymore. Ah, boom, we're done. This has USB. And we're ready to go. So what I need to do now is tape the bottle back up because again, right, I had this issue with the with the thing. Has to be taped, but uh, this should work, right? So just let's just give it a quick spin. So it's gonna sit like this. All right. It's gonna always complain about low power, but I mean, eh, not that bad. So all it does is, is bitch about their, about the battery being low, but that's fine. I mean, meh, whatever. All right, and with the soap water, let's give it a quick, uh, quick test and I will move the camera so you can see it in all its splendor. Right again, Stephen Hawking, right? Like just got a new chair, which also can do speaking, right? Type of deal. So now it looks kind of like this. I was hoping to get this a bit more flush. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll torque the cable a bit. Let's see, eh, whatever. All right, seems to be working fine. Need to go get this off my hand now. All right, so one more neat trick I found. Uh, right, so the problem I'm having with this is that it gives me too little foam, right? I, I need more, right? I, I feel like I need more, right? So what you can do is actually hit the, hit the stop, hit the, um, what would you call it? The disable button as it's pumping. And it does give out way, way more, right? So it's using a, a, uh, a busy weight, right? A delay. And it doesn't doesn't interact with the sensor in this time. And if the motor is on, it leaves it on until it realizes that okay, the delay has passed. Let's turn it off. So you get more of a consistent dose. And uh, in case you were wondering how to how to do that, right? Bazeus does actually have one. I think I mentioned this that uh, does have a programmable delay. But uh, this is all we have here.